What is going on guys, my name is TJ, welcome back to another brand new video, today we are doing a tutorial video, uh, this is a subject that comes up very regularly on my channel, people always ask me, how do I install maps on uh, Kane's Wrath, Red Alert 3 and Tiberium Wars, and it's extremely, extremely simple, um, but you know, some people may not be able to find it as easy as say, let's say I can, so I'm going to show you guys, so today, what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to download a map pack you can find this at any place let me just bring one up for you guys so let's go into google red alert and type in google red alert 3 maps okay so i've typed in red alert 3 maps um you've got my map pack find my map pack on there you can go into cnc labs download uh, some map packs from there or maps, shall I say? You got 352 Red Alert 3 map pack add-on. This is one I actually downloaded. Probably one of the most recommended ones, I reckon, because it's got all the tower defenses on there. So you just want to click that, uh, and then what you're going to want to do is just download now. Obviously, I already have this map pack, so I don't need to download it. But download it. It will download, and then uh, you've got the map pack. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is hit. Um, File Explorer, you're going to want to hit this PC, you're going to want to go to your main drive, um, which is my C drive, uh, this is going to be where all your users and all that app data is and all that kind of thing is, so C drive, users, my name, app data, roaming, uh, let's find Red Alert 3, which is down here, maps. And you just want to drag all of the individual map folders into that maps folder. Once you've done that, that is literally it. You have all of the maps ready on the game when you load up. Uh, and the same goes for Kane's Raft and the same goes for Tiberian Wars. See, they both have maps with map folders. You have uh, Kane's Raft, maps. You slot all the maps into here. Um, one thing I will say is sometimes when you download a map pack, all of these maps are already in a folder. So what you're going to want to do is open that folder and drag all the individual folders into the map section. Um, because if you just drag, let's say, let's just make a quick example. So you download the fine line map pack. Whatever, i got a bit of... It's like I've been awake for like 20 minutes, so forgive me. So you download the final line map pack and you get a lovely folder once you've extracted it to your desktop. So in the folder will be loads and loads of maps. What the, th the thing you don't want to do is go into the update or into the map section and just grab the final line map pack and drop it in there. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is open up the final line map pack and you want to drag all the, f all the maps that are in that map pack in here. Because as you can see, every single map has got its own folder. Every single one. Um, none of them are in any kind of map pack folders. That They all have their own individual folder. If you don't do it like this, your maps will not show up in your game. Okay? So you need to drag each individual map folder into the map section. And voila, it will all be done. That is literally it, guys. It's a nice quick tutorial, and it's something that uh, a lot of people have been asking for, so there you go. And I'm actually going to add this into a tutorial playlist, where I've got all my other tutorials in there, uh, mainly CNC-based. Uh, one tutorial I did on there was how to install mods. Uh, this one is to how to install maps. And I've also got one that allows you to find out how to play online. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. I apologise for my speech this morning. I feel like a... I don't know, like a rat that's just clean, literally crawled out of a gutter or something. I feel weird. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video.